Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. In today's vlog, I'm at Coachman Caravans for the launch of their 2022 models. And I'm going to be looking at this. This is the Coachman Lusso 1, which is the single axle new Lusso model from Coachman. You may remember I've reviewed before the Lusso, which is now the Lusso 2. That's a twin axle caravan and I'll put a link in the description below to that vlog. But we will have a look at that in this vlog, just see if any changes have been made, because I did mention several features that I think thought maybe could be a little bit different. So let's have a look at the new single axle Luso. Unfortunately today, I haven't got facts and figures and prices, but we can have a look round and hopefully I will be able to do a full review at some point. So we see the front, we've got the Alco chassis that were on there with the ATC. We've got the two front lockers on the coachman. On the near side, we're going to find the gas point and the electric hookup. And we've got two windows on this side, the single axle, as you can see, and we've got the hydraulic self-leveling, which if this is priced similar to the uh, original Luso at 41,000, then obviously we're going to want uh, plenty of nice bits on it. We'll go in. Fortunately, it's not overly well lit, but we get the idea. So the lounge, now I do like this. We'll start up here. We've got a nice skylight there. We've got this huge window. Obviously this is an eight foot wide caravan. We've got the large windows and then we've got an L shaped lounge, which we didn't have before. Um, we'll go into the Lusso too and we can uh, remind ourselves of that one shortly. But we've got this really nice wrap around and then we've got a little bit of space here. That's where we're going to be putting our television. We've then got a number of LED lights and the Pioneer speakers, little bits of storage and the Pioneer system up there for us. But this lounge area, I like L shapes, not for everyone I know. There will be a table I'm sure that goes uh, here to eat at. Now, as we move around, this is nice to see. We've got a good size flap there, as you can probably see for the kitchen. Then we've got the marble effect uh, worktop. We've got a large sink on the coachman. We've got the marble effect splashback. There's some nice storage up here. I'll just open that up. So yeah, that's good size as always. And that feeds nicely into that Russell Hobbs microwave. And I like what they've done here. If we can see this as well around the microwave. That's a nice finish. It just adds a little bit of class when you are spending a lot of money you just want those extra features we then get the Fe the thetford oven and grill and the hob there with electric and gas and over on the near side we're going to have some usbs there we've got a little ledge and we've got the control up above the door for the alder wet central heating there's the coachman control panel and then we come round and we've got the Dometic tower fridge and freezer. Now these are always a good size. I'll just open that up. They open on both sides as well. Um, got a big freezer compartment, nice shelves there, salad tray at the bottom. So again, big tower fridge freezer. Always useful as well if you're wanting to use a caravan like this on a seasonal pitch. So then we head into the bedroom. Now we do have a privacy screen, which is here. And that's obviously going to come across onto this edge here if you can see there and we're into the bedroom now like the coachman uh, like the coachman Luso 2 the bed is very close to the oven and I noticed that before and that was my one of my sort of things that I mentioned so we still get that in here but we've got a side island bed that's currently retracted it does give you some good floor space around it and then we've got some nice wardrobe space. We find the Alder header tank in this wardrobe space. Pink fluid, so only these changing every five years. So there's some wardrobe space. We've then got a little bit of cupboard space down there and we've also got an aerial socket. Now there's a really good size mirror here. You can obviously see me in it, but that's really good size. Um, I do like that. And there's also just down here, a plug socket as well for if you wanted to use a hairdryer or anything. Around the bed, we've got two um, lights under there and they have USB chargers. There's also some overhead lockers as well and a nice leather effect headboard. 
the bed i don't know the sizes of it i'd imagine it's probably going to be um, similar to the luso that i reviewed before we've got a little bit of shelf space there next to the bed for cups of tea and now we're heading to the bathroom now we've got a really good size sliding door as we can see and then this feeds into this rear washroom coachmen always deliver for me on their washrooms um, and this doesn't disappoint we've got storage there there's a heated towel rail that'll work off the alder wet central heating there's the thetford toilet in the center there's some really nice storage under here look that's an excellent space got a really nice sized bowl not everyone likes the fruit bowls i really do like them these are always nice got a nice tap and then we've got this absolutely huge mirror as well which is fantastic size um, and then in the shower which again really nice shower cubicle really good size the shelving to put shower gels on and what have you really good headroom in there too so yeah that is a nice shower and we'll just look at the caravan from the back so looking into it we can see obviously going backwards through the bedroom into the kitchen area and then into um, that nice lounge area and again the coachman kitchen we've got see here we've got some nice storage here the bank of drawers and um, and this nice lounge area it's funny actually because when i when i originally um reviewed the first luso there are a few things that I, I wasn't overly excited about this however this is really nice i think they've they've got it right here the cell shape's really nice um the kitchen's excellent it's a single axle as well which may appeal to more people who don't want a large twin but with the eight foot width you're certainly getting that feeling of space um so yeah that that's really nice really nice indeed so we'll just nip back out so let's venture out quickly and we'll just have a look down the other side that we didn't see before so there we go as you can see that's down the offside of the Luso and you've got your water there and your vent and a little bit of storage underneath as well so there we go that is the new single axe axle coachman Luso one I say hopefully I'll do a proper review at some point but on the face of it this looks really nice uh, the build looks good the new lounge shapes nice uh, and there's everything in there that you're going to need so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed having a quick look at that so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one